I found the easiest way to paint skin tones with oil painting. If you have ever been struggling trying to get skin tones, you should definitely try this out. Hi everyone, welcome back to the studio. For those who are new, I'm Moiti. We talk a lot about art stuff here in this channel, so if you are interested in art, I invite you to subscribe if you haven't yet. Some time ago I was browsing on the internet when I found a guy who was explaining an easy and efficient way to get skin tones on the palette. I felt curious, I tried that out and... Holy guacamole, it worked really good! And actually, it was really fast and easy to get those skin tones. This magic formula is the Zones palette. And only consists in using four specific colors and make all the mixes with using these four colors. The colors are Yellow Ocre, Cadmium Red Light or Vermilion, Titanium White or any other type of art like Lit White, and Ivory Black. The Zorn palette is named this way because of the Swedish artist of the 19th century, Anders Zorn, who painted almost all his paintings using these only four colors. But it has been used by many other artists before him, like Velázquez. Zorn's limited palette makes a replacement of the primary colors. Ivory Black instead of Blue, Cadmium Red Light instead of Magenta, and Ochre instead of Yellow. If we look at the chromatic circle, we can see how limited this palette is, since we would be working with less than a quarter and chromatically quite warm. Zone used this palette for all the parts of the painting, generating contrast between colors to achieve the variety of tones, but it can be used only for skin tones to help us get them surprisingly fast. Let's jump to the palette camera to explain you how to mix these colors. We're making a value scale, from dark to light. For the two darkest tones, I'm only mixing ivory black with some cadmium red and ivory black with cadmium red and ochre. It is super important not to add white to the dark tones. For medium tones, I'm mixing cadmium red with ochre and a little bit, a little, little bit of black in some case. And if it is required, at this point we can start adding only a little bit of white. For the brightest colors, I'm mixing cadmium red, ochre and white, or taking the previous mix and just adding more white to it. It is super important not to add black to the bright tones. As a result, we obtain a value scale of skin tones. If the skin we're about to paint was more reddish, we could have added more cadmium red to the mixtures. And if it was more yellowish, we could have added more ochre or even changed the cadmium red to brown sienna. I did a fit study session to show you those mixtures in action. So let's jump into it. But before that, if you're enjoying this content, please hit that subscribe button down here. Okay, now we can continue. Let's jump to the demonstration. This is a study session I did of about half an hour with the colors we have just mixed.
Due to the limited palette, the colors complement each other and it feels more pleasing to the view. Premixing the colors can also help you to just focus on the values of the painting and expedite your painting process. I highly recommend you to try this on palettes with skin tones. I think it's a great technique to use and to have in mind. I would definitely be using it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've learned something. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.